Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be talking about how to deal with acne during pregnancy because there's a lot of ingredients that you cannot use while you're pregnant and a lot of them do relate to treatments for acne. So I'm gonna give you my best tips on how to deal with this um, because I know the struggle that it can be. So if you are pregnant or are thinking about being pregnant, then definitely this is a good video to watch because our skin changes so much um, when we're pregnant and even after. Like I have a completely different kind of skin type and composition than I did before I had a kid. So things definitely get a little bit messed up for a bit. So if this interests you, then just keep watching. All right, just a little intro. My name is Kenna. If you don't know, I'm a biochemist, cosmetic formulator, and a business consultant for skincare startups. And I have been pregnant, I have a child, so I definitely have firsthand experience with this issue itself. I have very sensitive skin, and before I was pregnant, I had very dry skin. And then during my pregnancy, I had a lot of oil production start to happen, and I did definitely have increased redness and irritation and, you know, melasma happening going on, and also acne during my pregnancy. So your skin just gets totally out of whack because your hormones are just going crazy, growing that little human inside of you. So. First things first, we're going to go through the list of things that you cannot be using during pregnancy and then I'm going to give you kind of my recommendations on how to deal with acne during this time that you are pregnant. Okay, so first and foremost, you cannot use any form of retinoids. So that would be, you know, the oral one like Accutane or Tretinoin or Adapalene or, or retinol or retinal, any retinoid you cannot use topically or orally, which really eliminates what most um, people with severe acne are going to be you know, prescribed in dealing with their acne. So you do have to stop doing that when you're trying to conceive and when you are pregnant. And that's the first big no-no. The other big no-no is you can't use any products that have hydroquinone. So that is hydroquinone itself, which is like a skin lightening agent. And then also Arbutin, which when it's on the skin, it gets converted into hydroquinone. So you're not supposed to use that one either. And then of course, like you can't do any kind of injectables into your face or anything like that. Um, now there are some antibiotics that your doctor could prescribe to you if you do have really severe acne. So definitely talk to your physician about that. And there is just medications that are safe during pregnancy that you can use for some of these skin conditions. So always consult your physician because there probably is a solution for you. Now just talk, talking about like over the counter or just skincare products that you can use to kind of combat this overproduction of oils that goes on during pregnancy and the acne and everything redness irritation sensitivity that's what i'm going to be talking about today so i'm not going to be talking about um you know any kind of medications just keeping it to skincare of course so the other products like the other two main otc products i use for acne are salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide right so there's a, kind of like a mixed bag of emotions with this one. Some practitioners do say that you can use low amounts of salicylic acid to kind of spot treat. Some practitioners say you can use low amounts of benzoyl peroxide to spot treat. So for those two ingredients, definitely talk to your physician, your doctor that is guiding you through this pregnancy and see what they say about it. Um, I just steered clear of both of those during my pregnancy because I found ways to kind of deal with it without relying on salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. I rarely use salicylic acid unless I feel really, really congested even now, but I definitely use benzoyl peroxide to deal with hormonal acne. So that is something that I did stop um, during pregnancy, which resulted in some hormonal acne for sure. But we're gonna get into some things that you can use and stop talking about the things that you can't use. So something that you definitely can use is azelaic acid, and this is kind of the top recommendation for dealing with acne during pregnancy. Azelaic acid does gently exfoliate the skin, and it is really good for redness and acne and uh, some types of eczema and everything. So uh, The Ordinary has a really great azelaic acid product. I'm going to link it down below. And then you can get prescription azelaic acid uh, products as well. But the highest percentage that I think you can get over the counter would be like a 10%. And the one from The Ordinary is great. I've used it a lot. And azelaic acid is traditionally used to treat moderate acne. So it is an anti-acne kind of ingredient. Um, it does have some antibacterial properties. It has some exfoliation properties. And it seems to really help with like the redness associated with acne and inflammation associated with acne. 
but you definitely want to just kind of see how your skin uh, reacts to it so start incorporating it into your routine slowly and then you could be using it up to twice a day you know morning and evening or maybe just once a day but just start off kind of slow incorporate it maybe every other day or every three days to start to make sure that you're not going to freak your skin out and overly cause irritation or sensitization or anything like that but that would be the kind of one acne ingredient that you can be using during pregnancy um, and a 10% is a great percentage to be using it as like an acne uh, treatment. Now, other ingredients that really could help your skin during this time would be like a lot of antioxidants. So you could be using still your vitamin C, vitamin E, niacinamides you can still be using during this time, like hyaluronic acid, all of that is still like good to go. And niacinamide could be a really great option if you do have like a lot of oil production and you're noticing a lot of uh, enlarged pores and you know, buildup and everything. It's just gonna help with that oil control and sebum production and everything. Thing, and it's a really strong antioxidant so it can help with like uv induced pigmentation into the skin and also and as like acid helps with that too vitamin c helps with that as well because another thing that happens a lot in pregnancy is you get like these brown spots that appear on the face really really easily so you want to be very diligent with your spf but yeah incorporating some of these helpful antioxidants can also help with that but niacinamide has the benefit of actually helping with kind of an overproduction of oil on the skin as well. The other thing that you can really do to help your skin out is using kind of very light gel type consistency products. So maybe not such heavy thick creams, opting more for like a gel cream moisturizer, like, you know, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost one is just excellent. Uh, Peach and Lily have a good one. The video that I just posted actually on um, like oily skin types and making a skincare routine for my Instagram followers, that one has some product suggestions that would actually be really good during pregnancy. Just obviously don't be using the ones with benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid unless you've consulted your physician and they said that it's okay. The other option as well is using something like a lactic acid or a polyhydroxy acid to really exfoliate the outer layers of your skin. Now, apparently glycolic acid is okay to use in pregnancy, but you just do want to be careful with it just because it can cause more sensitivity than the other acids. So just see if each, each one works for you, but you don't want to be using that as a really high percentage, like 5% or less is probably where you want to be sitting with these uh, acids just because they could just be too much for your very sensitive skin at this time. When you're pregnant, your skin should, can just kind of freak out at any time <laughs> for any reason. So just being more gentle with your skincare is going to be key. Now you definitely want to make sure you're using a nice uh, cleanser and I would definitely recommend the CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. This one is nice because it's really not stripping, but it does actually clean your face and it's going to effectively clean off your makeup and sunscreen and dirt and oil and pollution from the day. So you're starting with a clean canvas when you do go in with your hydrating ingredients, with your antioxidants, with your azelaic acid cream or whatever products you're using. And then again, just the key is using a sunscreen that is not, you know, kind of making your skin irritated either. Um, you definitely can opt for like a mineral sunscreen during pregnancy, but there's no problem with using a chemical sunscreen either as long as you are protecting your skin. That is the first, that is the most important thing first and foremost because our skin just really does create brown spots really quickly during pregnancy and they are very hard to get rid of. So always wear your SPF, be reapplying it like crazy because you will need it. Um, the two sunscreens that I definitely recommend if you are dealing with oil and kind of acne prone skin would be the Legome Celis Sun Gel and then the Beauty of Hosen, uh, the Rice SPF. But I will link everything down below so you can check out kind of my recommended products. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Of course, any questions that you have, just consult your physician. But these are definitely some products that you can use during pregnancy to deal with kind of an oily skin type and redness, inflamed skin, all of that jazz. These products are gonna help you out. So again, just to summarize, a nice, cleanser that is non-stripping but is getting the job done then incorporating some nice antioxidants like vitamin c and niacinamide you definitely do want to have some hydrating ingredients in there so maybe something with glycerin or hyaluronic acid or pentanol and then again to really handle that uh, redness inflammation and um, acne you want to be using an azelaic acid product and there is many out there the ordinary is definitely like the most affordable I'm sure the incubus has one too I haven't even 
looked into that. But if I do find a good one from the inky list, I will link it down below. And then ultimately just using kind of a light texture cream, like a gel cream formula is going to be really nice in this situation. And then finally SPF like no other, like you've got to be slathering it on because not only will it make like spots on your face go really dark really quick and be hard to get rid of but you just are so prone to getting brown spots on your skin when you are pregnant all right hope that you found this useful if you are pregnant then congratulations <laughs> that's really amazing uh being a mom has just been the best thing to ever happen to me so but it definitely does change your skin and it might change your skin forever so <laughs> It is just one of those things that happens um, when your hormones go crazy for nine months and for months after that as well. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you do have any questions about anything that I said down in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please do subscribe because I do put out videos every Monday and Thursday. All right, see you guys in my next one.